In this video about the BMA360 Beamforming Microarray, we are presenting a new technology developed by ClearOne called Phi-Beam. The BMA360 is the first truly wideband frequency invariant beamforming microarray. That technology we call Phi-Beam. It gives uniform gain response across all frequency bands. That gives the ultimate in natural and full fidelity audio both across all beams and within a single beam. The result of that is consistent great sound regardless of if you are sitting still, turning your head to speak in a different direction, standing or moving around the room. How is that accomplished you ask? To answer that we must compare polar plots of our BMA360 on the right and all other competitive beamforming microarrays on the left. The left polar plot is typical of them and is easily found on the public internet. The main points regarding frequency invariance are of the two frequencies shown in the main lobe, notice how different gain is depending upon location in the beam and frequency. We don't speak at one frequency, but multiple in the voice range, 200 hertz to 4K at the very least. The gain is drastically different in the 2.5 kilohertz area, as you can see, three distinct different lobes in the area of the main beam itself. That difference results in great variation of the audio itself. As a person moves in the main area of the beam, even just turning ahead, standing, or especially walking around, the sound of your voice changes. It can become boomy or edgy, but it most assuredly becomes different. The plot on the right shows a BMA360 at four specific frequencies. Notice the near identical pattern of each frequency, and this extends both below 1000 Hz and above 4000 Hz as well. That means there is no variation of the voice as within the beam itself or within the room and other beams. You are free to move and sound stays the same regardless of where you are. This is accomplished by our unique application of our DSP audio algorithms. That is what we refer to as Phi Beam technology. These polar plots show that we maintain that incredible consistency regardless of the beam width that may be used in the various room configurations. This graph shows the frequency response when measured on axis, that is the zero degree point of the beam. However, what happens when it is measured just a little off axis but still in the coverage area of the beam? On the right with the BMA360, the frequencies are invariant, that is, they maintain the same gain at all frequencies. On the left with competitive beamformers, there is a significant difference in gain at different frequencies as much as 15 to 20 dB in this graph. That results in very unnatural sounding audio in different areas of the beam. Not good. Five beam technology gives users the ultimate and natural and full fidelity across all beams and even within a single beam. That is why we say you're not beamforming unless you're beamforming with Clear One. Thank you.